Hi friends, it's Miss Colleen. I'm joining you today from Discovery Hill underneath this gorgeous Mexican plum tree that's full of its fruit right now, Mexican plums. Here I have one to look at. We have lots. And I want to read you a story called A Fruit is a Suitcase for Seeds by Jean Richards and illustrated by Enka Harrington. Most plants have seeds. When you put a seed in the ground and water it, a new plant grows from it. Seeds often travel to faraway places. If seeds did not travel, too many plants would grow in one place. It would be very crowded Some seeds travel in the wind, some seeds travel in the water. Many seeds travel inside fruits. The fruit is like a suitcase for the seeds. It protects them on their trip. Fruits look beautiful and taste good. So animals and people eat them and drop the seeds in different places. Some fruits carry one big seed inside them. This seed is called a pit. A cherry is one of these fruits. Some fruits have many small seeds inside them. An apple is one of these fruits. Some fruits have many, many, many tiny seeds inside them. A kiwi is one of these fruits. Many berries, such as strawberries and blackberries, carry their seeds on the outside. Raspberries do too. Some vegetables we eat are really fruits. They carry seeds too. Peas are seeds. Can you find the seeds on this ear of corn? Here's a hint. It's the part we eat. I bet you didn't know that every time you eat a peach, a cherry, an avocado, a plum, a cucumber, a tomato, a grape, an apple, an orange, a pea, a pear, a melon, a banana, or a blueberry, you're really eating a suitcase. A suitcase for seeds. Now, I like that this book has some interesting questions and answers in the back because there are a lot of questions about seeds and fruits we eat. So, Here's a question somebody asked. What's the difference between a fruit and a vegetable? Hmm. Well, fruits and vegetables are parts of plants. A vegetable can be the leaf, like spinach, the root, like carrots, or even the flower, like broccoli. A fruit, like apples, cherries, and peaches, is part of the plant that holds the seeds. But some vegetables hold seeds too. Cucumbers, tomatoes, green peppers, are these vegetables really fruits? Hmm. There is no clear answer to this question. Maybe we should think of them as both. Another question. Do all fruits come from flowers? You may know the answer to this. Yes. All fruits come from flowers. That's true for vegetables that hold seeds too. Here's an interesting question that a lot of children wonder, and I know uh, my own kids have asked me this question a lot. Why don't seeds grow in your tummy? Well, small seeds that you swallow when you eat a tomato or a slice of watermelon or cucumber cannot grow inside you because seeds need earth, water, light, and air to grow. And they can't get those things inside a person. The seeds you eat go out of your body when you poop. 
So those are some interesting things to know about seeds. And since we're underneath this Mexican plum tree today that's making its fruit, I wanted to show you these branches are full of Mexican plums. And the, also they've been dropping all over the ground. So here I have some to show you. This is what they look like. These gorgeous Mexican plums. We have so many. And if I split it open, oh, it's very juicy. You'll see the fruit on the inside, which you can eat these. People can eat these. They're very tart, but you can eat them. Has one big seed, which we learned it's the pit. You know that next time you eat a fruit or maybe a vegetable, you can think about it as eating a suitcase for seeds. Bye friends. Thanks for joining me today at Discovery Hill. I hope to see you again soon. What will you find when you play outside?